Hi, it's Jess here again with the last video in this tutorial series. We've finished the project now with two scenes, audio and a few edits. Now we need to turn this project into a video. This is done using the publish button to the right of the top toolbar. You'll have different options available here depending on whether you're using the free trial or have an active subscription. If you're using the trial, you'll see the video scribe logo here rather than having the option to add your own and you'll be able to use the PowerPoint, Facebook or YouTube publishing options. PowerPoint Publishing will render your video and once complete this will ask you to name and save your PowerPoint file. This will be created with your video on one PowerPoint slide and you can build a wider presentation on the other slides if you want to. If you select the Facebook or YouTube options then this will publish directly to your Facebook profile or YouTube channel. When you click on the option you wish to use you'll be taken through a wizard where you can name your video, add a description, enter the credentials to your YouTube or Facebook account and give VideoScribe permission to upload. Customers who have purchased a subscription have two additional publishing options and the option to add their logo to the Scribe as a watermark. Add logo is in the bottom right of the video preview window. Pick the image you want to use and open it. You can now see the logo in the bottom corner of the Scribe. If you don't like this and want to remove it just click the X. The first additional publishing option is to our website, show.co. When you do this, you'll be asked if you want to make your video public, unlisted or private. Select the option that suits you and click the tick to upload. You then get a short link that you can use to share your video. Also an embed code is available if you need it. Our website will now create that video for you and you'll get an email as soon as it's ready to be viewed. The final option is to publish your video locally to your computer. You have various video formats available to you, which are WMV, MOV and AVI, and you can scroll back and forth through these using the plus and minus buttons either side of the currently selected option. You can also publish to an image sequence in either PNG or JPEG. The PNG option will publish with a transparent background, which will allow you to use your output nicely in other video editing tools. Once you've picked the format you want, you can also select the size or quality of the video you want to produce in the same way. This goes up to 1080 Full HD. The final option you can customise is the frame rate for the video. Now you've chosen your settings, you need to name your video and decide where you want to save it. By default, VideoScribe will name your video file to match the name you've given your project. If you haven't saved your project yet, this will show as untitled. You can click in the box to amend or completely change the name of the video if you want to. The final option is the save location. Just click in the box and you'll see a file explorer and you can browse your drives and folders to pick the location you want. In this case I'm going to save the video to the desktop. Then just click the tick and VideoScribe will show you the progress it's making as your video is created. So that's the end of our tutorial series. Remember that all these things and more are covered on our help pages via help.sparkle.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy making engaging videos with VideoScribe.